Hello friends, from the day the lockdown began, we've all been facing a lot of trouble in the assessments of the students. Google Forms have been a useful tool wherein we've been able to assess our students by giving them MCQs. Now, uh, for a maths teacher, it is, it is a little difficult because there are no mathematical symbols that can be inserted in the Google Form. So today I will tell you right from the beginning how to create a Google Form, how to use the symbols uh, in the Google Form and uh, make the settings and how will the students receive the forms. So I open a new tab from here. And this is the screen that appears. Again, you can see these nine dots here. These are the three nine magical dots, which uh, make us do a lot uh, from this. So I click on this and I go to my drive. So you can see the drive here. This is the drive that you can see. I click on this drive and you see the plus button on the left side. And this corner on the left side, this plus button, click on this plus button and go on to more. And when you go on to more, the first thing that's appearing is Google Forms. So I take up this Google Form and I again, you can see there is a blank form and there's a from a template. So if I go from a template, there's a variety of Google Forms that I can get. So I just take up this assessment from here. The first thing I do is I go on to the settings and I collect email addresses. I limit to one response so only the child can respond only once. I go to presentation and I write in the end that uh, the child should get a message that the response has been recorded successfully or response submitted. I write response submitted here. Then I go on to quizzes and I make this a quiz even in case it's not a quiz. Generally assessments are already made into a quiz so I ensure that it is made into a quiz. Then I, if I want that the children should not get to see the answers immediately, I can write it later after manual submission. But if I want that the moment the child submits the work, he or she can see the, um, the marks obtained immediately. So I'll click on this immediately after each submission. The child can miss questions and the child can see the correct answers. So all this is done by Google itself. I don't need to use any tool, neither Flubaru nor anything else. The Google does the complete work on its own. I just save this and it is saved. Now I just see the email address has already come because Google is collecting it. I just change this. I write quadratic equations. The email address is already there. Name is already there. Uh, email now I don't want because it's already been collected. So I can just do away with this. Uh, I can delete this. Then uh, I don't want any quiz question here. So again, uh, instead of I can just do away with this one also. I go here. I add the class. So I go on to this plus button, add the question, and I go on to um, the class. Now this class, either I, I can ask, make it a short answer, and the child can write. 10th A, 10th B, but again, some write in the capital, some write uh, 1, 0, 10, some write uh, in the Romans. So I can make it what? To be on the better side, what I can do is I can make it as a drop down question. So drop down question means the options I write, I write here 10th A, then I go on to the next option, 10th B, I go on to the third option, 10th C, fourth option, can see. So out of these four, the child has to take up any answer. So again, this is not a question that is being assessed. So it is zero points, but the, it is a compulsory question. So I need to write, do you see this red star over here? This means that the question is required. I click here. If I don't put it requires, it's child's wish that the child fills up the name or not. But I want that this is a required thing. So I push it towards the right side and it is a required thing. This is not to be assessed, so I zero points. Again, this is not to be assessed, so again, this is zero point. So I write this. I start writing the first question. I write question number one. So question one, I want find the real roots of uh, a particular quadratic equation. So I write find the real roots of the quadratic equation is hundred x square. So I write hundred x. Now, how do I put the square? 
Now, this is where it becomes a problem. I, there is no option in the Google form to uh, write the symbols. So what is to be done? One way is that I uh, write the question, I take an image, and I go on to here, and I click on this, and I insert the image over here. The other option is that I download Equatio, and from Equatio, you have seen a number of videos wherein how to use Equatio is written. Now, the only problem is this Equatio is free for a limited period of time. Like for my, uh, when I started uh, making the Google Forms, it was free, of course. I used it quite often, but now it is no longer available to me free, of course. So I need to find out another alternative. So what I do is I go to the word. So I open a new word document. So this is the new word document open and I type my question. So my question is what are the real roots of the equation? Equation 100 x square. 100 x square. So if I try to put it like this x square, I put the superscript here x square. And I copy it from here and I take it to my Google form. You, you will find that there is of no use. I am not able to make this change. It still comes out control V. It is not coming in the way I want. It is not coming as a power. So that means this is not the right way to do it. Now, what I do is instead of taking the superscript, I do what? I change my question again in the word. I go to the word. And instead of writing this x square like this, I insert the symbol. So in the top left corner, you can see the insert button. So you click on this insert, and there are various things that can be inserted, be the table, the video, the number of things that can be done. So what I do is I insert the symbol. So this symbol, I take this square symbol here, and this square has been inserted. Now, if I select this and I copy it. And I paste it in my Google form. Let us see whether we'll be successful or not. So there you are. Bingo. It is done. That means this method is a successful method. 100x squared minus 20x plus 1 equal to, equal to 0. So this is done. And I can write the options. The first option is 1 by 10, comma, 1 by 10. I go on to the second option, is 1 or 5. I go on to the third option, I, it is 10 and 10. I go on to the fourth and the last option, which is 1 by 5 and 1 by 5 once again. So this is the done thing. This is a required question. I have already done that. I need to correct the right answer. So I take this, I go on to the answer key. If this is the correct answer, no, this is not the correct answer. I have worked it out. The answer is 1 by 10, 1 by 10. So I click here and I ensure that I have given here one point. If, it, if I'm taking it for two points, I can write two here. If it's a three marks, I can write three. But here I wanted a one mark, so I write here one. Then, and I write it is done. So this is how I have to make the first question. Let us try to see the second question. Now the second question again. Question two. Now, second question I want again in the checkbox form. No, I want it again in an MCQ form. So I go on to the multiple choice question and I select the question. Now, for convenience, I have already typed my question in this word. So I take up the second question. I click, I take this as the second question. I copy it. See, again, I have done it by inserting the symbols and I go to the Google form here and the second question can be control v and the second question is done again i write the options the correct options i write real real and equal second option real and distinct third option imaginary and fourth option none of these so after writing, I have to correct the take the make it the right answer. So I go on to the answer key. The correct answer is imaginary. So this is the correct answer. I don't want this one. I don't want this one. And I ensure that I have given one point to it. Yes, one point has been given. So I make it one point and it is done. Second question is also done. Let us again take up now one more question. 
wherein the roots uh, i have taken the under root sign let's say question 3 is i'll show you how it is to be done i'll type it here positive root of the equation now the equation is root of 3x square plus 6 so i need the under root sign what is the method again i go to the insert and i go on to the top right corner of symbols i go on to symbols and i select the square root symbol so if i take the square root symbol it has come here square root of how much square root of 3x square plus 6 so 3x now i want what 3x and i take it the square so i again go to symbols i insert the square 3x square plus x bracket closed is equal to 9 so this is the positive root of the equation this is again i now select this i am copying this i select it control c it has been copied i go to the google form this is the google form i open it and i simply paste it control v so you can see it has come my square root symbol has come the square has come here the completely way i wanted i have already typed the options correct options are here now i just go to the answer key and i see this is the correct option so this is the correct option and i tick it i ensure that one point is there so one point i make it one point and this is done so this again third question is done now i'll just see the fourth question the now again i am going to the question that i have already typed i want to take supposing this question so i control c i just copy it control c this using the symbols i have put the cube sign i have put the square i put the square here using the symbols and this has been typed so again i control c and what do i do i go to the google form and i take this is one more question so i go on to this plus button i add it this becomes now question 4 and i just simply may press control v the question is copied the way i want it and the options are what the options are 1 comma minus 4 next option is 2 comma 4 next is 3 comma 4 and the last option is 3 comma minus 4 so my correct answer is what i will go on to the answer key correct answer is 3 comma 4 so i click on this i see it becomes green i go on to the points i change the points i add one and it is done so again this has to be a requisite question required question so i click on this and the question the work is done so this is not required i simply delete it so again this is also not required i again delete it so my questions are there are four questions in my test and my test is ready to be sent now before doing that you just see the look of the question that i'll just check the preview and i'll show you how the question is looking this is the form how it will appear to the students very neat and very simple proper form just have a look at the last question This is the last question as it appears if I have used the symbols and copied from the word. Now I will show you another form wherein the same was done and it was not copied but it was done. Um, the image was inserted instead of this. Just see, compare the difference. If I just open this in another tab, just compare the look of these two questions. this is looking proper neat question but this is having an image it is put down here so the question the look varies see here so this is how what can be avoided and it's a very simple method to use the google forms now once this is done i'll show you how it is to be sent so i close the previous form and i open it up again so this was the form that we were working on i have shown you how it looks now so this has to now be sent so i just click on send and i click on this link so when i click on this link i get a link i shorten the url and i copy it on copying it the link is been copied now supposing i want to whatsapp it to my students supposing i want to forward it to some child i just click the form here and it is quadratic equations you can see here and it can be sent to the students 
The students can appear it for it. Now, wow, how it appears to the student? For the student, it appears like this. I'll click on this. The student gets the form like this. Again, it has to be filled up. I'll collect the, I'll write my email ID. I'll write my name. The class, again, see how it appears? Choose. So I have to, supposing I'm in 10th A, so I click on 10th A and it is chosen. Now, first question, what are the root, the real roots of the quadratic equation? Supposing this is the correct answer, I am clicking on this and it is done. Second one, the roots of the quadratic equation are, supposing the answer is imaginary, so I click on this and it is done. Next one, the positive root of the quadratic equation is, this is 5 is the answer, so I click here. Now, for this one, the answer is 3 by 4. But I'm not clicking here. I'm clicking on the wrong answer, the incorrect answer. And I click it here and I submit. On submitting, see what you get. You can see the response submitted. And if I want to view the score, I can click on this. You can view the score. The child can view the score. Total points, 3 out of 4. This is the score that I received, 3 out of 4. I can see my responses. First question is correct. Second is also correct. Third is also correct, but the fourth one is incorrect, and the correct answer is 3, 4. So by the Google form, whatever are the mistakes of the child, the child can see. You don't need to check the work. Google does it all for us. So thank you so much to Google, and thank you so much for listening patiently to me. And I hope Google Forms is going to be a better experience using this technique. Thank you so much.